Yeah, I got her laid over on her side. So far, uh, <clears throat> Harbor Freight motor isn't uh, drooling any gas or oil. Those Chinese motors are good. Anyway, um, we gotta put some wheels on this hog. Yeah, baby. So out of my assorted junk <clears throat> in this one box, yeah, I got about 20 boxes like that. And uh, I was able to pick out uh, these nice uh, quarter screws, which fit nicely, obviously, into these quarter bolts or nuts. Um, but I found 16 of these little guys, which, of course, have the nylon lock in them, which I'm going to use because this thing should be vibrating pretty good. Anyway, that's a good part about getting old. You get stuff, you buy stuff, you acquire stuff, and then you find it later, you're like, oh man, a treasure! Yeah, I caught that disease from a buddy of mine named Lance. Oh yeah, yeah, Lance. Lance's dad was an expert at saving nuts, bolts, screws, washers, yeah, pretty much everything. Nails, bent or not, it didn't matter, and I think I caught that disease from him. And thus, this is how he turned out. Okay, anyway, gotta drill some holes. Run some screws, have the wheels on, we'll be done. Ha <laughs> ha, bye bye. Spin these guys on. And of course, drill the other three holes, mount the other uh, casters, and we'll be done. Well, we're, uh, we already got the crusher up and running, so it isn't perfect yet, but uh, it's uh, breaking rocks. Uh, I'll show you what we got here. Uh, I, uh, I was going to mount it on that table. I was thinking about getting it up higher, but uh, upon further review, you know, this is a pretty good height. And uh, of course, it's, you know, I can, uh, it's on casters. It's not hopelessly stable, but nevertheless, it uh, can be rolled around very easily. I left this plate on. I can always cut it off, but uh, you know, once you cut something off, that's that. You know, you got to make sure. So anyway, I left it on temporarily. Um, a couple other things here between the frame down here. It's a little bit hard to see But uh, oh, here we go. That's the better side. You can see I got uh, this rubber material and what it is. It's uh, like boot uh, You know a sole of some kind. It's hard, but it's pretty squishy too uh, And so it gives a little bit of vibration isolation and of course uh, it's got a bag hanging here on the feed tube you know, All right not the feed tube on the exit tube and uh, anyway, it busts itself up really tiny. Take a look at it here. It's pretty fine material, you know. Not uh, perfectly powder, but in the neighborhood. And that's just about right. It's just piling up in the bag, but uh, let's throw something in there. Uh, nice variety of material. Some of us got a little bit of gold, but we'll see what we got. Those are a couple. Not even hard. Got a little catch pan here, just catching anything that flies out a little bit. Got a couple of these little guys. Here. Pretty. Shut her down. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got in here. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yep. Make it sand out of rocks. Okay. Let you go for a little bit. I get this thing in a pan and we'll see what we got. Bye bye. Right. Over here at my pan and tub. Got the old super sleuth. And our recently crushed material, like about five minutes ago. Pretty good, uh, pretty good job, I'd say. All in all, it's just about perfect, I think. So, maybe we'll shut this hog off here and I'll flip it back on in a minute and see what the heck's in here. Probably not much, but we'll see. Okay, there's actually uh, two micro flakes in here, just out of those few little rocks. 
You know, it's harder than heck to see, but right 